Kristen St. Clair, crafter at Martha Stewart Living. You can make this simple, playful garland with your children at home with materials you might already have in your house. You will need nylon twine, straws, scissors, and matches. Start by melting the end of your nylon twine with a match. This will ensure that your thread will not fray. Melt the tip just a tad, enough to keep all the threads of the twine together. Make sure you don't touch your burnt edge until it's completely dry. You don't want to burn your fingers. I use these decorative paper straws. Cut them into four equal parts. One in the center, in the center of one half, and then again. Cut up all your straws so you have enough beads for your garland. To start the garland, string three pieces of straw onto your thread. Once you have your three pieces of straw or beads on your string, simply thread back around through your first bead, creating a loop. Thread that through, feeding it down, and pulling it out the other end. Once you pull that tight, you have a triangle. You can simply slide the triangle down your thread and start making another triangle. I'm gonna use pink for my next one. Thread three pieces on. One, two, three. And loop around back through the first bead. Pull it taut and slide it down. Next color is orange. You can be creative and let your children pick the colors, pick the design of the straws, which way they go, which colors they use next. It's an easy craft for kids. Depending on the length of your garland, you don't even need to cut it from your roll of string. You can just keep simply sliding them down and continue to grow your garland until you have a long, beautiful garland. How easy was that?